My name is Ayan Vasquez Lopez, and I identify as gender fluid non binary, and my pronouns are they and she. My name is Cheyenne Lindsay, my pronouns are she, her, and I identify as a trans woman. My name is Tenderoni, my pronouns are he, him, and I identify as a drag king. My name is Gregor Lopez, and my pronouns are he, him, and I identify as a queer Hispanic deaf man. My name is Jack Finn, and my pronouns are he, him, his, and I identify as transmasculine. I got inspired to start voguing because it was a way for me to express my femininity when I couldn't. I needed that outlet. I'm a mariachi performer and musician, makeup artist, a marketing media maven, a drag performer, the list goes on and on. I specialize in high energy performances, 90s nostalgia, I'm jumping around, dancing, shaking my booty for <laughs> the world. I'm a performer, a TV show actor, an entrepreneur, a gamer, and I own my own business called Teach Me ASL NYC. A musician, singer, songwriter, uh, predominantly focused on pop music at this point in time. Pride means to me living your authentic truth all the time. Not just the month, but all of the time. Confidence, and it means fearlessness, but it also means love and acceptance. To me, pride means freedom. Pride is important because it holds us responsible to pave the way for future generations. It's really about like acknowledging the things you've gone through and excited about who you are. I run my hands against like my scars at this point in time. Like I'm gonna get emotional. It just like reminds me that it's like I've been through a lot and these are just like really points of pride at this point. Whew. I wish I saw more bearded people in makeup celebrated during Pride. I think it's just cool to mix the feminine, the masculine. It's art to me. Being a drag king is just, it's kind of, you have to work your way up to the top. It's a little bit harder just because there are not a lot of drag kings that are visible in the scene. If I saw myself represented in the LGBTQ plus community when I was growing up, I think I would lose my shit. Deaf people don't speak with their voice. So when we sign, people are usually shocked and realize that we do have a voice. But all this time, you just haven't been listening. The more visibility we create, the more representations of all different types of life across the spectrum that we can showcase and for you know younger versions of those people to be able to latch on to there is like a light at the end of the tunnel. I celebrate my identity outside of Pride Month by waking up every day and being the beautiful trans woman that I am and just being myself. I feel the most seen when I'm in full face of makeup, when I'm in my mariachi suit in a drag outfit, and I just feel like super in my elements. I literally feel like I can conquer the world. I love to perform and I love to make people happy, so when I'm on stage and the audience is giving me the energy that I'm giving back to them, that's when I feel the most seen. When I was much younger, a lot of these identities weren't really talked about, let alone celebrated, so it was very daunting to come out as your authentic self. Representation is key because when you have representation, then you can see when you're younger, okay, I can do that too. I'm proud to be queer. I'm proud to be deaf. I'm proud to be Latino. I have so much to be proud of. Skittles is actually one of my favorite candies, and not just because I'm here. I'm a very honest person. I will tell you if it wasn't.